It is important to take care of the skin around the G button. Clean the skin every day or more often if needed. You can do this at bath time, in the bathtub, or in the shower. Follow these steps to clean the skin. First, wash your hands with soap and water. Then, turn the G button in a complete circle in order to check the skin all around the site. Look for crusting, redness, swelling, drainage, formula leaking, tenderness, bleeding, warmth, or tissue growth. Tissue growth is also known as granulation tissue. Use gauze or a clean washcloth to clean the area with mild soap and water. Regular baby soap is fine. Pat the skin dry with a clean towel. If the skin is healthy and there is no leaking around the G-button, then leave the site open to air. You do not need to use ointments and dressings unless there is leaking or your provider has told you to use them. Do not use oils, hydrogen peroxide, or alcohol to clean the area. These can irritate the skin. Here are some questions parents and caregivers often ask. Can children with G-buttons sleep on their tummy? Yes, children with G-buttons can sleep in any position that is comfortable. What about taking tub baths? It is okay to take tub baths after one week. Can children with G-buttons play like other kids? Yes, children can do anything that will not hurt their tummy or pull on the G-button. What about going swimming? Children may swim once the G-button site is healed. These instructions are only general guidelines. Your doctors may give you special instructions. If you have any questions or concerns, please call your doctor.